foods to feed your brain. I mean, exercising is okay, but eating is better. Heidi Skolnick is a nutritionist <laughs> at the hospital for special surgery. She is here with some foods that go straight from your stomach to your brain. Hey, Heidi, good morning. Good morning. All right, well, first of all, what's that relationship like between food and your brain power? Well, it's an emerging science, and we're finding that food does help sharpen your mental pencil. It does. It does. All right, well, and let's we'll talk about which foods. We're going to start over here, folic acid. Folic acid. Again, we're learning more and more. What it does, it may actually help with neurotransmitter connectivity and prevent the cascade of anti-inflammation. Uh -huh. well, so, sorry, what does that mean? <laughs> so, that it's really keeping your brain. It's helping with memory. It's helping to prevent dementia. It's helping right. to prevent Alzheimer's. It's keeping your sharpness, your mental acuity. You say orange juice? 100% orange juice. Right. As simple as your refrigerator. Legumes. Put some beans in your salad. Right. Dark leafy greens. Okay, B is for brain. We're talking right. about B vitamins. All B vitamins. Folic acid is one. B, B1, B2, all the way through B12. Right. If you don't get enough, irritability, confusion, even coordination is affected. Or maybe I should have some extra milk then. Yeah, I hear I it, a, it makes you grow I taller. drink a lot of milk. I keep hoping I'll get taller. Okay, <laughs> over here. Antioxidants, quercetin is a flavonoid, helps with all the free radical damage right. over years and years and years. So the thing about antioxidants, you need to get it from food. Supplementation is not shown to be helpful. They work right. better as a team than isolated. And again, you, you work on the antioxidants, what effect is it going to have on you mentally? All of those, that free radical damage, it kind of right. helps just keep everything working. Okay. It helps keep your brain Broccoli, a big fat through this. Right. Also, we've lox heard, or salmon, other fish. Right. Well, we've heard so much about the omega-3s and we keep right. hearing about salmon salmon, but it's also in herring, it's in anchovies. If you don't eat fish, you can go to supplementation. That's okay. fine. It will work in supplementation. All right, Heidi, thanks very much. Meredith, back to you. All right, David, if you think people are just...